Go ahead. A certain integer, integer between 10 and 100, its value is 8 times the sum of the digit, and if it's Oof. reduced by 45, its digits are reversed find the integer. Whoa. Yeah, okay. That was a mouthful for me too. That's a mouthful. All right. I barely understand that. Okay. So let's have a look at it slowly together. We'll unpack it bit by bit, yeah, right? Okay. Uh, and by the way, that's a really important skill. You know that previous question? It's like a whole paragraph. Yeah. One of the skills so that we use... Yeah, like looking for the important details and like breaking it into small chunks. So let's break this into small chunks. You've got an integer. I've written that it's between 10 and 100. I'm just calling it n. Oh, yeah. uh, integer just means a whole number, so it's not 10 and a half. Yep. It's like 11. Um, its value is eight times the sum of its digits. Huh. Okay. So if we had a number, like say uh, 31. Okay, I can give these two um, digits, I can give them pro numerals, right? Um, but you've got to be careful because if I call this one A and this one B, right? So A is 3 and B is 1, right? This number, you can't really write it as AB, can you? Right? It's okay, yeah. Yeah, go ahead and shut it. That's right. Do you want to sit? I'll wait for you to sit and then... It's fine, it's fine, it's okay. I'm going to cut this out. Okay, yeah, the last one. Alright, so... If I want to write 31, I can't write AB. That's not 31. Yeah, exactly. We use that to mean A multiplied by B. But I can still write 31. I would write it as, like this is a place value, right? That 3 doesn't really mean 3. It actually means 3 lots of 10, right? So, right? And if I had like a, another digit here, that would be not 5, but 5 lots of 100, yeah? So I can write 31 like this. I can say it's 10A plus B. 3 times 10 plus the 1, okay? All right, so let's call this number A, B, right? It is two digits, so it's because it's between 10 and 100, right? So this number is uh, 10 A plus B, where A is the tens digit, yep. and um, the B is the units. Okay, now what do they tell us about this number? It says, uh, let's see. Its value is eight times, everything's falling down. Its value is eight times the sum of its digits. What is the sum of these two digits? It's just A plus B, right? So the value 10A plus B is eight times the sum of the digits. Do you see how I just said that? There is the actual number, and there is eight times the sum of its digits, okay? That's an equation. We might as well, um, we can simplify this now, right? This is 8a plus 8b, right? Um, I can subtract 8a from both sides, which gives me 2a. And I can subtract a b from both sides, which gives me 7b, okay? Let's just call that equation one. And then the other thing they tell us is, if its digits are reversed, it's reduced by 45. So to reverse the digits right. is to swap the tens and the units, right? B, B plus 10A. Ah, now B plus 10A is still going to be equal to the same, same thing, thing as this, right? Yeah. So actually I need to switch the B and the A themselves. Oh, so so to be yeah, 10, 10B plus A. So I've just switched the digits and that's the same as taking the original number and reducing it by, what's it say? 45. Okay, let's just make sure we understand what we just did, right? This is me swapping the digits, right? This is me looking at the original number and subtracting, reducing it by 45. Well, maybe, right? Well, let's see what happens. Um, I can simplify this just like I simplified this one, right? Uh, let's see here. I can subtract a, an A and a B from both sides. That would leave me with 9B over here. And then over here, it would leave me with 9A minus 45. Can we simplify this even further? Common factor? What can you divide through by? 9. That'll leave me with B. Nailed it. Good. So this guy I'm going to call 2. What method of solution do you think is the most helpful to put these two together? Substitution is much easier than um, elimination, right? So. That's right, I can just squeeze it in here. I'm going to substitute 2 into 1. Can you tell me what to write? 7 bracket A minus 5. Very good. That's the substitution. You're done. Equals 2A. So, can you expand for me, Alex? Uh, so, 7A minus 5. 
Oh, minus three, Yeah, it applies to both, equals two, right? Very good. Now what? Okay, so I, I should subtract 2a from both sides. I might as well add 35 to both sides also. Okay, good. So what should b equal, apparently? 7 minus 5, which is 2. Let's check this out. Apparently, my number is 72. Does it fit the conditions? It is between 10 and 100. Uh, if I add the digits together, I get 9. And so 9 times 8, this number is 8 times the product of its digits, right? It's 8 times 9. And then what's the other thing? If I uh, reverse the digits, right? Is that equal to 45? I think it is, right? 